Hey everyone, talking more details about what we're expecting as we head into tonight. Make sure to cover up those plants before you head to bed tonight. We are expecting the possibility of frost as we get into that Sunday morning. Temperatures close to around 34, 33 degrees as we go into our Sunday morning. So if you have any of those tender plants in the flower bed, make sure to get those coverings on them or just bring those potted plants inside. Just one day, though, we are going to be talking more details about another chance first learning about more frost chances later into our work week. But let's get into what we're expecting for the rest of our night tonight. It's been a very calm one, very beautiful overnight. It has been a getting a little bit chillier. Highs only really gotten to the mid upper 40s for a lot of Michiana. So you definitely had to have that coat on. If you have any late night plans, you'll definitely need it as well. By 9 p.m., probably seeing temperatures dipping into those low 40s. Maybe a couple upper 30s sprinkle in there as well. Again, we will see those temperatures getting pretty close to freezing into our overnight. But as we get into tomorrow, it's honestly going to be a very nice day. It's about 10 degrees warmer, sitting in the mid 50s. Northwest winds still kicking in. So we will warm up a little bit more if it weren't for those pesky northwest winds. But still, we're going to be seeing sun all day long. It's going to be a beautiful one. Those temperatures feeling nice and comfortable. If you're heading out towards Chicago, you might see a lone 60 out there. So again, very nice for tomorrow. But the thing is, we're heading to our winds for our Sunday. We're noticing again those northwest winds sticking around. This is the th reason we're not really seeing the temperatures warming up all that much. As we get into our warmest time of the day, the northwest winds come in and they reach their peak, pulling in that colder air from the northwest into Michiana. That kind of dampens down our cooling. But as we get into the next couple of days, we're going to be watching actually as those conditions get a little bit warmer. That but with for that, we get into our Monday temperatures getting into the 60s. It's going to be a very nice day Monday, but we're already watching a cold front moving its way through as we get into our Tuesday morning, bringing us rain for our Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, all day Tuesday, expecting the rain, but luckily not lasting too long. It's going to be getting out of here by our Wednesday and by noon. We'll be back to clear conditions, mostly clear for a lot of us, but still watching out for more of that frost. Not Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday, but Thursday. That next frost chance is going to be popping in into our late week. So here's the kind of the timeline for our 10 day forecast tomorrow and Monday, both looking good. Temperatures in the mid 50s tomorrow, mid 60s for our Monday. We're going to watch as we see the rain changes on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, cooling down again. Thursday morning that got that frost chance again, and then we get the extended forecast. Rain chances return into our next weekend, but it's not stopping the warm up by our next work week. Temps in the mid 70s. Jackson Scott football this spring. We're going to have more on that. Your 16 news now continues.